this is the compression tester that I had using that I had been using now I am going to check the output voltage from the computer goes to ignition coil there are four connectors yes one two three four we will get the ground the output from the control module so okay we have to go to another cylinder it's okay we have to go to another one fine we have to go to the last one so everything is fine we done this one that that uh, circuit and we have to go to another side see 12 12 12 12 pass now I'm, I'm going to check the two remaining terminal we done the one and four terminals that is uh, ignition off now we have to switch on the ignition to check the remaining two terminal okay now it is switched on I'm going to check the two terminal the, this one and the other one now we connect the positive lead the positive side switch on to we'll check the voltage it's okay and the other one 6.7 the of 10 value was uh, the specified of 10 value was 7 so it is passed and the other one okay and the other one okay next okay next now I'm here in the car what you will do when you do compression test compression test you have to press the accelerator pedal pulley like that why when you attempt to start the engine the throttle must be fully open so that more air to come to the intake manifold that is the way how you test the compression test so i will do it now fully press the accelerator pedal and start okay turn the ignition on and crank for a four cycle engine meaning one two three four four cycle you heard that four cycle and you have to uh, get the uh, good result i will go outside i will check the how much is the psi how many is the psi so the psi reading is about uh, 150 psi so the cylinder is okay 150 psi so that is pass then we do it the same uh, uh, routine one two three and four to uh, check all cylinders how many psi this is the easy way uh, to get the result if you have uh, engine valve leaking or compression uh, piston ring leaking if there is a problem you can do it manually I perform number two cylinder uh, 
And that is the reading. So it's passed. 150. The second cylinder. I did before. It was uh, number three cylinder. I was perform number one cylinder. And this is the result. It's the same. 150 PSI. It's very clear. So there is no doubt that there is a leak on the engine valve. Then I was performed number four cylinder. Okay. And what is the result? The same. It's 150 PSI. So meaning all the cylinders are fine. So we, what is our next? What is our uh, expected uh, doubt? To get the misfiring. You will notice that uh, they replace all the spark plug. Newly replaced. Newly replaced. And there is uh, all uh, ignition coil are newly replaced. See? It is new. And the misfiring is still there. So, we have to find out. 